In the midst of holiday makers, swimmers and those determined to make this a carnival atmosphere, the elite men made their way to the swim start on Rio's iconic Copacabana beach for the start of the Olympic test event. With all eager to get underway, the warm Atlantic waters formed the backdrop for the one lap 1500 metre out and back swim. Beach starts are always a great spectacle and this was no exception as the crowds were enjoying themselves in the heat of the early afternoon sun. Two of the three 2012 medalists were competing here, Javier Gomez and Alistair Brownlee. In fact, Brownlee is the only person to win a test event and then go on to take gold in the main event. As they approached the beach exit, it was South Africa's Henry Schuman that led out of the water, with Slovakia's Richard Varga hot on his heels, but the rest weren't too far behind. Brownlee and Gomez had swum well and were among the first out onto the five-lap 40-kilometer bike, as was recent winner over the sprint distance in Hamburg, Van St. Louis. A lead group of 11 quickly formed on the first lap, all keen to try and build a good lead over those chasing them down. As the race wore on, the lead dwindled to eight, with the two groups behind forming one large chase pack, which contained Richard Murray and Mario Mola. They were well back, nearly two minutes behind. Coming into T2, the leaders would take a lead of just over a minute out onto the four-lap 10K run, with the USA's Tommy Zafiras first to rack his bike and leave transition. Gomez and Brownie were a little slower in transition, but nevertheless, with their running speed, the gap would prove to be insignificant. But it was soon Frenchman Louis and Gomez who were going it alone as they built up a 50-metre lead on the rest of the field. The large group behind was struggling to make inroads. Zhao Silva, Richard Murray and Mario Mola, all quick in their own right, would need to summon every ounce of energy if they were to get a podium finish. But Gomez, with just one WTS winning Yokohama so far this year, was in no mood to take anything less than a victory and book his place in next year's race. As the field started to thin out, Brownlee was a long way back and it looked like his battles with Gomez in the past wouldn't happen this time. As the Spaniard hit the bell, he'd built up an unassailable 16-second lead over Louis, who in turn was well clear in second. The battle for third was on. South Africa's Richard Murray has been recording some amazing run splits this year, and this would be no exception. He breezed by Brownie with ease as he set his sights on what had seemed like an unlikely podium finish. But the easy running style of Gomez would see him through to victory and a 14-second win over second place Louis, who would book his place on the French Olympic team. And remarkably, it was Murray who ran through the field to take third, despite having a minute deficit to make up over the 10K. Gold medal winner in London, Alistair Brownlee, had to settle for 10th place. Yeah, it's great to secure my uh, qualification for Rio. Uh, I enjoy racing on the course. Uh, it was a pretty tough race, pretty hard out there. I uh, felt quite good. Uh, I was saving some energy the last two laps on the run because uh, yeah, uh, I'm more focused on the World Championships. So uh, it was nice to win, I won't say easy, but kind of controlling uh, a little bit. Not like the last few races, which is always 100%. So uh, yeah, happy with, uh, with filling the course. Yeah, that's a great feeling. You know, I made the Olympics in 2012, but wasn't satisfied with that. And I'm just at the time to prepare for Rio. Just, just check the hill, how is it? And that will be good next year, I think. You know, it's at the start of the day, I had to motivate myself. You know, it's a bit difficult to get motivated for this one now. And uh, on the swim, you know, it was real rough. I uh, came out quite far back. But even though it was one of my best swims today, funny enough. So, you know, I claim that, but definitely happy with, you know, how things turned out today.